What's up as well fans, back again Rocky Padilla and welcome back to the ASEAN Basketball Discussion On this episode, we're gonna talk about Vietnamese basketball And yes, there's a new basketball star coming to Vietnam And his name is Christian Juzang Who got drafted by the Saigon Heat in the VBA A little background for Christian, he played 4 years at, at Harvard Crimson that's a lot of college basketball experience and also he's a six foot two point guard he's a great leader great playmaker great teammate and also he can shoot the ball also not bad so this is a big big addition to the Vietnamese basketball so play four years at Harvard and then on his third year if I can remember he played against North Carolina which is a big deal because they still had uh, Kobe White he he played pretty well he had nine points I think uh, four assists he played 30 minutes and then uh, last season on his uh, senior year I think he uh, his best game came against uh, USF where he had 17 points and then he also played a good games against Yale when he had 15 points and also nine assists so this is pretty much a great kid all around play I think he's a great defender also but man Saigon Heat with this addition they're gonna be really strong and I don't know if Christian gonna play in the ABL or so or not because if he can play in the ABL of course this is gonna uh, make the squad of Saigon Heat more deep and also if he can play for the Vietnamese national team because as we know they have a few Americans Vietnamese already playing like Christian Dierker Justin Young, uh, Tan Dim. So if with the addition of uh, Christian on the national team, this is gonna make the C Games uh, competition more tough. So they might have a chance to beat Thailand also in the C Games if Christian could play for the national team. Man, I don't know what's gonna happen to Indonesia, but hopefully Indonesia can still be a good competition also for the C Games because we know Vietnamese. Basketball is growing, so everybody, hopefully, there will be people from Vietnam watching this, Vietnam watching this uh, video, so they can also give me information how how basketball is growing in Vietnam. I'm very, very curious. As we know, Saigon is always trying to upgrade their squad every year in the uh, in the ABL. So, man, Vietnamese basketball, man, they they are up and coming, man. I'm pretty sure. So. Pretty scary time for Indonesian basketball. I'm, I'm pretty worried about Indonesian basketball, but I'm pretty sure all the Vietnamese basketball fans are very excited about this. Um, I'm pretty sure there are more players probably in the NCAA, I don't know, Division 1, 2, or 3, that have Vietnamese blood also. So if you have information about that, you can also leave it on the comment section below. But I'm very excited to see how Christian is gonna do uh, in the VBA and also hopefully in the ABL. Uh, from what I see, this kid is very talented and very his skill set is very good. He also have a brother, Johnny Juzang. I think gotta play for Kentucky if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he also played for the USA uh, Junior Team. So we might need to talk about him too on the next episode. But for now, so excited to hear just Johnny gonna uh, not Johnny. I'm sorry, Christian gonna be in the Vietnam because. It will be more interesting for everybody in ASEAN uh, region to see more players coming from, uh, as we know, how we say, heritage player, to see more heritage player coming to the region and play basketball professionally. That's gonna elevate the competition out here. So guys, thank you very much. That's the discussion today. If you have more information about Christian, you can also write it on the comment section below because I'm still trying to learn about his game also. and. More information won't hurt. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.